and those who are present here that we shall not rest during the current academic year. Our faculty member participated in seminars, conferences, and workshops at RGNM as well as at uh, international and the national level. Uh, RGNM itself organized many seminars, conferences, and workshops. Some of these are as under one day national seminar on a world in transition, women empowerment, 37th All India Criminology Conference, National Mood Board Competition. International Humanitarian Law Center organized an essay competition on international humanitarian law. One day national seminar on emerging areas of competition law in global economy challenges and opportunity. Advanced training program on mediation for the students in collaboration with the Punjab Legal Services Authority Chandigarh, Sarana and Sarana Trial and Advocacy Group, Agahi 2014. The and Debate Committee organized the inter-parliamentary debate four day workshop on fighting corruption, the role of lawyers and courts in collaboration with the IDA and CLA Center, NLS, uh, NLS uh, IU Bangalore, two day international conference on Indo US relations and South Asia, Sarana and Sarana International SRIT competition, one day training program on human rights in collaboration with the NHRC, one day mediation course in November 2014, and this year, and in 2015, we opened the university with again international seminar on restorative justice and sustainable prisons issues and so I am happy to share with you that all that few of our faculty members have also completed their research during the last year. In order to have focus on the research, the RGL published its own biennial journal, Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law Review, which is a peer review journal having its analysis and number and is being published by the next Nexus, Nexus India. We have RGNL Student Law Review online, RGNL Financial and Mercantile Law Review online, and monthly newsletter titled as the Human Rights Committee. Our, our, these, are, these are all published uh, in-house uh, by the university. The Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law has published 10 books, Death Penalty, Contemporary Issue, Selected Essay on Emerging Trends in Cyber Law, A World in Transition, New Challenges, Women Empowerment, Political Science and Global Governance, a multidisciplinary approach. In addition to this, I am very happy to share with all those who are present here that our faculty members of the RGNU have also published uh, three books. The faculty members of RGNU have also published more than 200 articles and the research paper which have been published in the leading national and international journal, the university faculty has been very actively participating in the programs for the professional and the academic growth. RGNL has signed MOU with many national and international professional and academic organizations. <coughs> Recently, the RGNL has entered into MOU with Australian International Arbitration Center and would be conducting the uh, course for the students and the faculty of this university in collaboration with that center in February coming February. The Legal Aid Clinic of the University has a strong uh, paralegal volunteer force of 110 members consisting of advocates, faculty and the students in general. It has adopted two adjoining villages for creating legal awareness among the residents of those villages. The thrust of the Legal Aid Clinic is on preventive legal aid services. In the academic year 2014 and 15, RGN Legal Aid Center undertook many activities and projects to further its cause of legal awareness amongst the masses. Realizing the social responsibility, the RGNL has organized the blood donation camp in which more than 100 uh, volunteers donated the blood. It was heartening to see that many of the girl students came forward to donate the blood voluntarily. We have today 593 students in this university who are pursuing five-year integrated BA, LLB honors and LLM course. In addition to this, we also have 20 research scholars doing the PhD and one scholar doing LLD. Our university is appreciative of interdisciplinary research and accordingly we have introduced PhD in law as well as PhD in social sciences with law. I can proudly say that all of our students are groomed in most congenial environment to enable them to face the challenges of this competitive world. Swami Vivekananda has rightly said, education is training the mind and not stuffing the brain. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel happy to share with you, in our university, we train our students on the same principle. Their academic skill is sharpened by plethora of curricular and extracurricular activities and events ranging from mood courts, street plays, and
from kite counseling to athletics. Our regularly updated curricula are generally compatible with the need of the society as well as with the legal profession. This university is committed to groom the lawyers who are professionally competent, technically sound, and socially relevant. Mooting is a regular feature of the university. We have our own moot called RGNLU Moot, in which we got wide participation from across the different states in the law university. Rajiv Gandhi National University of Law also hosted Surana and Surana Trial Advocacy Moot. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to share with you that during this academic year, our student bag position or prizes in almost all the moots wherever we participated, we can safely say we did not get a prize in the moot where we did not participate. I am glad to mention here that our team has qualified to the international round of Stepson International Environmental Law Moot Court Competition and in April 2015, our team shall be going to Stepson University, Florida, USA to participate in the international round. The students of this university take keen interest in sports activity also. The students of our university participated in Virudhika 2014 at NLIU Bhopal and got the overall winning trophy of a student back six gold medals, four silver medals, and four bronze medals in the individual events. In different events, we also participated in uh, NH65, which was held at National Law University Jodhpur, and our team came overall runners up. Reputation of the prof professional institution is governed by the placement of its graduates. Placement sent of the university publishes placement brochure every year and the same is sent to the top law firm and other leading organization of the country one year in advance. Different law firms have been visiting the campus to recruit our law students from the campus. Today our alumni are working with the different law, the top law firms of the nation such as Jyoti Sagar Associate, Amar Chand Mandal Das, Lutra, Lutra, Vaish Associate, Hindustan Petroleum, Juris Legal, Troy Legal, Bangalore, Greenmaker, OSC Legal, Gurgaon, and Red Go. Many of our students have preferred to join the legal profession. Some of our students have also joined the judicial service and the defense service. Some have preferred to continue the studies at postgraduate level in India as well as abroad. Five of our students have also qualified the net examination conducted by the EEC. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to share with you that our students have been doing their internship with most reputed law firm. They have also been doing internship with the Honorable Judges of the High Court and Honorable Judges of the Supreme Court. During the academic year 2014-15, RGNU Institute of Competitive Examination initiated coaching classes for the Judicial Competitive Examination. The course was dedicated to spread over in the two semesters. Today, in this convocation, 137 students are to be awarded with a BA LLB honors degree. These students are of two batches, 2008 to 13 and 9 to 14. 74 students get the LLM degree and they are from three batches, two batches with two year duration program and the one batch with one year LLM program. I'm also happy to share with you that in this convocation, three candidates will also get the PhD degree out of which one candidate will get a PhD in law and two candidates will get the PhD in social science with law. I congratulate all the awardees and their proud parents and convey my best wishes. These students represent 20 states and union territories of India. That means we are having the student almost from every corner of the nation. In order to recognize the outstanding achievements of the students today at this convocation, 44 medals will be awarded, which include University Medal, Chancellor Medal, Vice Chancellor Medal, and uh, the Sponsored Medal. The, there is a special medal which has been instituted by the university for, as a best girl student, uh, outgoing student, which is called the Vice Chancellor Medal to the girl student. Ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to share with you that this year, two more medals have been sponsored, one by Shri Asit Hall and Shri Mati Arpita Paul in the memory of their daughter, Miss Aparajita Paul, who was one of our brightest stars, but left for her heavenly award very early. The other medal has been instituted by Dr. S.K.S. Maria in the memory of uh, his uh, father-in-law, late Justice Keshwaram Pasi, who was the judge and later Chief Justice of the Pepsu High Court and he used to sit in the same building from where the university started functioning from its interior location. On merger of Pepsu, 
with Punjab, Mr. Passi served as a judge of the Padarna High Court. We express our gratitude to our donors and I'm confident that their gesture in encouraging the student by sponsoring the medal will go a long way. Now, as a vice chancellor, a little advice to the students, those who are passing out and those who will get the degree today. The students who will get the degree today must remember that this is not just an ordinary piece of paper. It is in recognition of your hard work and support of your parents. It is also the recognition of the contribution of the faculty which has empowered you with knowledge you have gained during your stay at this university. Now it is your turn to pay back to your esteemed parents, the institution, the society and the nation by fulfilling your responsibilities. Prove yourself worthy of this great institution. Wherever you are, remember always to make your institution proud of you. All these days, marks might have been important, but from now onwards, always remember in life, remarks are more important than marks. Students must remember the motto of this university, knowledge empowers. We at the university have done our best to empower you with the knowledge. Now it is your turn to shape the, your future and the future of the nation by and taking the right decision at the right time by facing the challenges of life with a smile and finding solution to the problems you come across in your life. It has rightly been said that successful people see opportunities in adversities and those who do not succeed see adversities in opportunities. Winners make things happen. Losers let things happen. Dear students, you must always work with a positive attitude and with a definite goal in mind and make things happen to be the winners. Always start the day with a positive attitude, no matter how hard things were yesterday. Today is a fresh opportunity to make things better. Many a times, small opportunity make big difference in life, provided you make the proper use of those opportunities. My dear students, you must always remember that everything happens for a reason. Live it, love it, and learn from it. Make your smile change the world, but don't let the world change your smile. These, there was never a night that could defeat the sunrise. Similarly, there can never be a problem that can defeat hope. Dr. Abdul Kalam, former president of India, rightly said, waves are my inspiration, not because they rise and fall, but whenever they fall, they rise again. Do remember, failure is not falling down, but refusing to get up. No battle was ever lost till the hope of victory was lost. If the world refuses to help you, just remember the words of famous scientist Einstein. I am thankful to all those who said no. It's because of them I did it myself. I will conclude by sharing a motivational poem, Life Steps by Catherine Pulsifer. Our entire life is made up of choices. What we decide, the action we take, the attitude we display all represent the steps of life. Sometimes we take two steps forward and one step back. Some of us take baby steps, some of us take giant steps. But the secret is not to let that one step back turn into a failure. Learn from backward steps and keep on stepping forward in this dance called life. God bless you all. Jai. Honorable Chancellor Rajiv. I declare the convocation open.
sincerely promise and declare that if admitted to the degree for which you are candidates and for which you have been recommended, you will in your professional as well as personal life and conversation conduct yourself as the best member of this university. That you will, to the most of your capacity and opportunity, support the cause of justice, fairness and peace and that you will uphold and advance the social order constitutionally established and well-being of all human beings everywhere and rule of law within the country 